Hello and welcome back to Aviation Avi. Go where you feel the most alive. Today we'll be learning about the types of runways based on the types of approaches carried. You may have heard or read in the news that today the visibility had gone down to 100 meters or even 50 meters at some place and wondered if flights would still operate there. You may have also heard that at station flights were diverted due to poor visibility. So the question is can flights only land when the runway is visible or there are ways to land an aircraft even when there is poor visibility so with this video we'll try answering all these questions so let's get started let us start with understanding some important terms what is visibility Visibility is the measure of distance at which an object or light can clearly be discerned. This is self-explanatory. Now what is RVR or the runway visual range? It is the range over which the pilot of an aircraft on the central line of the runway can see the runway surface markings or the light delineating the runway or identifying its central line. So basically when the pilot is on the central line of the runway, the distance up to which these markings or the lightings on the runway is visible is called the runway visual range this dh or decision height it is the height above ground at which the pilot must decide whether to land or carry out a missed approach so let us imagine an aircraft is coming in for landing and this is the approach path so there is a defined height based on the precision of the instruments used or the visual aids used at which the pilots must have established a visual reference with the runway or at this height they must decide whether they are capable to land or they are need to carry out a missed approach so this particular height above ground is called the decision height now the runways are categorized based on the capability of visual and instrument aids used on the runway to accommodate a safe landing even during adverse weather conditions used may be the visual aids like lighting marking or instrument aids like the VOR the ILS these aids basically help the pilot to easily identify the correct approach path on the runway and carry out a landing operation so now let us understand which aid is helpful to what extent and thus define runway categories now the runways are divided into two categories the non instrument runways or the instrument runways in case of instrument runways approaches are made using visual aids or even instrument aids but up to a particular point only beyond which approach is continued in visual meteorological condition by visual aids we mean the markings on the runway and the lighting system on the runway here in the image you can see the approach lighting system for a non instrument runway which is the simple approach lighting system which extends to a distance of 420 meters from the threshold and there is a crossbar at a distance of 300 meters now what will happen if the visibility deteriorates further obviously the markings on the runway will not be visible neither will the simple approach lighting system be clearly visible so in this case we use inch on the runway which can either be the ndb or the non directional beacon or the vor or sophisticated instrument like the ils now the instrument runways based on the precision of the instruments used are divided into two categories the non precision approach runway and the precision approach runway the non precision approach runway have instruments like the vor the ndb which are capable of providing directional guidance up to the point where these equipments are installed but they do not provide precise guidance to the runway so in the non precision approach runways can accommodate landing up to a visibility not less than 1000 meters and they can allow a decision height of not less than 75 meters now in case visibility deteriorates further in that case we have to use sophisticated equipments like the instrument landing system which will come under the precision approach runways now the precision approach runways are divided into three categories based on the precision of the equipments used or the visual aids used in order to accommodate a safe landing a cat 1 precision approach runway can bring an aircraft closer to the runway up to a decision height of 60 meters beyond which visual reference has to be established to carry out a landing 
Cat 1 runways are usable up to a visibility not less than 800 meters and RVR not less than 550 meters. A Cat 2 precision approach runway can accommodate landing up to a decision height lower than 60 meters but not lower than 30 meters. And it can accommodate safe landing up to a RVR not less than 300 meters. So basically, Cat 2 runways are more precise than Cat 1 runways. So it can be used at a reduced RVR also. And the aircraft is being brought more closer to the runway as compared to Cat 1. Now, when we have Cat 3 precision approach runway, the decision height is lower than 30 meters or no decision height. That means the aircraft is being brought up to the central line of the runway with great precision and in this case the RVR is lower than 300 meters or no RVR at all. That means even when the runway is not visible at all, landings can be carried out precisely with the help of instruments used that is the instrument landing system. Now in order to understand instrument landing system, we have made a separate video on our YouTube channel so you can refer to that and understand how the ILS and its components help an aircraft to make a safe landing maneuver. So as you can see in the image here, as the precision of the instruments used on the runway increases, the decision height of the aircraft reduces. That means the aircraft can be brought closer to the runway. In case of CAT-1, the decision height is 200 feet. That is, at this level, the aircraft or the pilot needs to decide whether to carry out a missed approach or continue the landing maneuver. Now, in case of CAT-2, the decision height becomes 1000 feet. That is, it can be brought closer, further closer to the runway before it has to decide whether to land or carry out a missed approach. In case of CAT-3, the aircraft can further be brought closer or it can be precisely guided to the runway surface. So this is how the precision of the equipments help in carrying out safe landing maneuver. Along with the instrument landing system which provides instrument aid, the approach lighting system is used to provide a visual aid for carrying out a landing maneuver. In case the visibility is not lower than 800 meters and the RVR is not lower than 550 meters, the CAT-1 approach lighting system will help in carrying out a safe landing maneuver or will help the pilot of an aircraft identify that the runway is along the central line of the approach lighting system. But what will happen? If the visibility reduces further, it is obvious that the CAT-1 approach lighting system will not be visible clearly. In that case, we have the CAT-2 or 3 approach lighting system, which is more conspicuous as compared to the CAT-1 approach lighting system. Because the density of the lights and the number of cost bar increases, there are also red side row barrettes that are installed to make the runway more conspicuous. There are touchdown lights installed to make the runway more conspicuous. So together, they provide a greater visual aid as compared to the CAT-1 approach lighting system. So this is the arrangement of CAT-1 approach lighting system, which provides guidance in case of CAT-1 approaches. And this is the arrangement for CAT-2 or 3 approach lighting system, which provides precise guidance in case of CAT-2 or CAT-3 approaches. It may be noted that the approach lighting system for CAT2 and CAT3 is the same. It is only the rating of the ILS that provides better guidance in case of CAT3 approaches. The runways are broadly classified into two categories, the non-instrument runway and the instrument runway. The instrument runway is further categorized into two categories, the non-precision approach runway and the precision approach runway. Further, the precision approach runway is categorized into three categories, CAT1, CAT2, and CAT3. This is based on the sophistication of equipments and visual aids used to aid an aircraft land safely on the runway. This, we come to the end of the video on types of runways based on approaches. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe because your support is our motivation. You can also follow us on LinkedIn. The link of our profiles will be given in the description. This is Anvesha Pal signing off. Thank you.